Yo, good morning, guys. I got up extra early to enjoy this. Just walking around a little bit before the training starts. Saturday, so the training already starts at nine. So right now we're just taking a really big detour around like this park, and then go train. And I'm also drinking a little bit of this delicious Japanese coffee. Shout out to the person who sends me this. You know who you are. It's a throwback to when was it? Somewhere in the winter when I got the package from Japan with these delicious coffees and lots of more stuff in there. I actually saved all them for the summer because they're actually delicious in the summer. I am training that quadruple twist again. We really love to do that. My routine. Uh, and then I have to do the three and a half punch half on the short side as the fourth line. So that's going to be pretty tough. We're going to train it right now. I don't know if I still have the footage, uh, but in Osijek I did this in the training and it went really well. Did the three and a half half pretty easy. And in Copa, no, not in Copa, uh, in Romania, I actually did a three and a half punch double, but it didn't land that one. But those floors were, were really sick, and especially as the fourth line is going to be really hard. That was pretty good already. Not as good as in Romania and Croatia. But you know, this floor is a little bit different and my legs might be a little bit different, I don't know. But I think this is possible. Uh, now we're gonna also try the two and a half punch double because that would also give me two tenths of, um, of D score, which if I would do everything, would get me up to 6.4. working out that well but the two and a half punch full punch one and a half was really cool uh, I don't know why I did that just for fun have some positive vibes in this floor training all right guys we're gonna go to rings and we are gonna train the Becker prize to planche into the giant we're also gonna think of something after my guksuki and I thought of something maybe I can do the delchev after the guksuki and then roll back and do the honma to cross or just my Yamawaki and my Yona song. So we are gonna train that today. Damn boys, first try. But this is gonna be really scary after the Gookski because the Gookski will always be different. That is gonna be really hard to get this element to the right support. Because if you go a little bit too hard, you like fall through the rings, but your legs are over the rings. So that's really scary. Then you have to let go of the rings and then you fall just on your head basically. I think that looks really cool and if I do it this way uh, with the Yamawaki then the Yonson then the Honma to cross and then uh, press up to my um, bike thing and then we have a really cool like setup for the routine then I don't have to um, go back to, to this position and then do the Yamawaki and the Yonson and the back up rise and then press handstand then it flows really well I think All right, so this is possible. It's just really risky. Like from the Gukuski, you go pretty fast. Right now, I did it from the support with the back toss, and it worked out pretty well. But if I go a little bit too fast and I like fall over, then you can't do anything other than just fall on your head, basically. So that's pretty scary, especially if you did it on the competition on the hard floor. One, you're gonna look like a dumbass, and two, it's gonna hurt. And three, you get a point deduction. So that really sucks. But if you can do it successfully, then it's really cool. Then you have like three what the fuck moments in your routine. That's that's really cool. Oh, I am freaking dead, dude. This week has been pretty tough on my body. But it's been going really well. Definitely a really productive week. But my body is feeling it, man. Which is actually a good thing. Because now I have one and a half day off. So that should give me enough time for my body to recuperate and recover and be ready for the next training week. Oh, but now it is time to head home. Uh.
Yo, boys, look what we got. Finally, some ventilation. Because it's like super, super hot in my apartment. It's just pretty hot in the Netherlands in general at this point. It's about like 30 degrees or something outside. So that's quite hot. And all the old folks are still burning their uh, heaters or something. They still have like the heater on and stuff so it gets really warm in here. So we have a ventilator kind of thing. And it looks really cool. Yeah, dude, so we finally have some ventilation in this house. All right, I got everything packed. Now it is time to go to my parents. Hey, Shorts. Shortsy boy. Hello, Shorts. Hello, boy. Remember in the previous video where Shorts was in? He had like a whole blue eye and stuff, and he was blind on that eye. Well, now they like sued it. Hello. actually works I did not expect that I wanted to make something really portable that I can just take with me on the plane and stuff so I took an old skateboard chopped off the tails well my dad chopped off the tails um, and then I put some some longboard trucks and wheels on the back it actually works pretty well like the wheelbase that is the distance that the wheels are apart it's really tiny so that makes it so it can turn really easy and really sharp turns Dude, it is even smaller than like my backpack. I could probably just fit this in my backpack. That is so handy. Anyways, I'm gonna drive to my own place again. See you guys later, peace. <laughs>